Hey guys, it's your boy Enzo and we were able to get early access in the mobile game spin-off to one of the best video game series ever, Diablo Comes Diablo Immortal. This might seem odd to most of us since the whole Diablo series is known to be a PC staple which makes it interesting. Blizzard is no stranger to mobile gaming since they do have a mobile version of their card game Hearthstone which you should definitely try. But given Hearthstone's design and overall gameplay, it only makes sense to port it over to the mobile platform. And not to mention the PC version came first. But with Diablo being turned into a mobile game, was really a weird move by Blizzard at first thought. But when actually playing the game, I realized that it absolutely makes sense to me now. Knowing that this game is free to play and one of the major features was its co-op play, which is perfect to be capitalized because right now you can play Diablo anywhere with your friends since everyone has a phone. Its gameplay is easy and it feels like you're playing Mobile Legends or any mobile MOBA game. Movement comes from the joystick on the left with the attack and ability buttons on the right. I had no problem adjusting and pretty much adapted real quick. The classes are the same as in Diablo 3 in which players can create more characters to use within the game. When creating a character, players select one of the game's six classes the barbarian wizard monk necromancer which is coming soon demon hunter and crusader each with 12 unlockable skills from which the player chooses to use concurrently for example the barbarian class's skills include slamming a hammer and turning into a whirlwind whereas the wizard skills include the beam of electricity that boomerangs back to its source, dealing damage twice. Charms can also be acquired within the game and equipped further to increase effectiveness and change how they function and actually the whole feel of the game feels like Diablo 3 without the necromancer class yet. But you do get the crusader which is known to be pretty OP, which I hope they fix just to make things a little fair at least if they're thinking about opening a PvP mode. The game also has a pretty slick narrative that is pretty different though still retains the element of Diablo 3 at the same time not really. So it feels like they will approach this game differently and will be more of an MMORPG type which this game will really flourish because I have yet to play a really good mobile MMO that has the same caliber as Diablo's story and lore. I mean besides Genshin Impact which could be a possible contender but the good thing about Diablo Immortal is that it does doesn't take that much space compared to Genshin Impact and not to mention it's a lot easier and faster when it comes to adventuring. This is by far excellent for mobile games and casual players. I personally hate games that take long for you to travel but in Diablo Immortal its simplicity is really the best thing about it. Especially when you have a small phone because the game's buttons won't really cover much of the details. Controls aren't as complicated as for a mobile game and the graphics aren't that bad either. It almost looks like an early PS3 game, which is by mobile game standard, actually pretty okay. Hands down, I'm claiming that this will be Ragnarok and Black Desert when it releases since I think it's superior in all aspects and will be really popular when it releases. Graphics, again, are pretty decent in mobile games. By that, I mean it isn't those chibi sprites or those anime-themed games. Not that I don't like anime, it's just very saturated nowadays and Diablo Immortal just gives you a totally different feel with its themes. To add, it also has those MMO goodness such as PvPs, parties, and guilds, you name it. These gameplay elements are similar to Blizzard's long-running MMO World of Warcraft. The game also provides voice chat features allowing players to communicate both with other members of their party and with a broader range of players via public channels. Diablo Immortal is also designed to feature guilds and bringing together larger groups of players which is totally the right move to make since this game has a lot of dimensions to further expand the whole Diablo lore to the newer generation of gamers. Although some of you guys, especially the older Diablo fans, might feel a bit off with this new game, the platform it's heading, and overall direction. It isn't much of a horror fantasy game like in the older Diablo games, 
which might be a con to most of you hardcore Diablo fans, or just someone who wants to immerse themselves to the pure Diablo experience. Instead, it's really lighter, easier than the original Diablo games, which had the elements of horror while in this game. It's leaning more onto the fantasy adventure Lord of the Rings type theme, which is not bad, but you know, not the theme that you would expect if you're an OG Diablo fan. So if you're pretty much a Diablo purist, then this game might not be for you since it's a lot different and smaller, to be honest, which is the whole point of the game. So I would recommend you just wait for Diablo 4, which seems promising, or Diablo 2 Resurrected. Also, some parts of it needs to be improved since the game feels repetitive to a certain extent. I guess because it's new, there's not much features on it yet, but I don't really know how to fix this since the platform is pretty much limited. But I guess events will be an excellent thing to add or some expansions for the story mode, just like what they did to WoW. Now that would honestly be cool, though WoW has a paid subscription and Blizzard isn't really known to be giving out free things. So I'm not sure that this game will be enjoyable if you don't pay for the much premium fight pass, which is to be fair, okay for the most part. But the whole demographic of people playing on their phones are people who are pretty much in a tight budget. That's why games like Genshin and Ragnarok sort of survive through microtransactions, but you know, you still get the whole entire game regardless and you enjoy it. I just hope they don't make it pay to win like most games and just keep everything fair to people. Another thing that they should improve is at least they should add more cosmetic wise. I can't stress this enough, but sometimes these little things could really make a difference in a game and it could also make it interesting to have a unique character of your liking. But on the other hand, if you just want a general feel of the game and you're not really one of those purist types, then I would totally recommend this game since first of all, it's free. And it's a totally different game to play if you're tired of playing Mobile Legends or Genshin Impact. Since overall, this game isn't that bad to be honest. And knowing that it's just starting, there are more things to come when it releases. This is by far great for people who want to know more, or rather, an introduction to Diablo's rich and dark lore. And I would highly recommend it since you don't have anything to lose but, you know, time. And besides, and if you really want a so-called true Diablo experience, then just wait for Diablo 2 Resurrected which is coming out sometime. We made a video about it so do check it out. Or just wait for Diablo 4 while you're at it. Whatever Diablo thing you need, Blizzard has it so don't fret. Anyway, what are your thoughts on Diablo Immortal? Is it worth the download? Leave your thoughts in the comment section below and don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell icon, and don't forget to visit yougetsec.com gaming for more news tips and tricks. It's your boy Enzo and stay safe.